Hi, in this video we'll be talking about string concatenation and repetition. Let's start with concatenation. If we put string literals next to each other with or without spaces, they will be joined into one string. This is called concatenation. Have a look. One string, here we have a space and another string. And what we get is just one string. These two strings are concatenated into this one single string. Now we can also get rid of this space over here. And this works the same. So, the space here doesn't matter. It's not added. Here, the space comes from this space here in the quote. The same here. Well, this only works with string literals. If we try to concatenate string variables this way, we'll get an error. Have a look. Greeting equals hello. Now let's try to concatenate our greeting and a string literal kids. Well, it doesn't work. We get a syntax error because we can't concatenate a variable and a literal. We can only concatenate literals. We usually concatenate strings using the plus operator. This is definitely necessary if we have string variables. But we usually also use the plus sign for literals. So, this works, but the way we would normally use it would be with a plus operator, like so. One string literal plus another string literal. Here we have a space plus another string literal. And we get something like this. Or we can define a variable. For example, daughter equals Alice. Son equals Josh. And now we can use string literals and these two variables and concatenate them into one string. Have a look. I have a present for this, it's a string literal, plus daughter, so here we have our first variable, plus another string literal, plus another variable, plus another string literal. And the result is, I have a present for Alice and Josh. Now, repetition. We use the multiplication operator, so the asterisk or the star, with strings to repeat them. Have a look. Here we have a string literal plus another string literal which should be repeated 10 times plus another string literal. And this is what we get. It's s o, o is repeated 10 times. Good. So here we're actually combining repetition with concatenation. Or something like this. Ha space times 20. And we get this string repeated 20 times. Or another example. Here we have a variable question. Question equals Where are you shocked? And now an answer. Here we're combining slicing. So we get a portion from this string defined as question and concatenation. Now 
We want to repeat the answer five times. Ho, 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 ho. Because here, this slice gives us this portion. And this portion is then repeated five times. We can also use the augmented assignment operator. So, star equals. So, A star equals B is the same as A equals A times B. And here's an example. Let's define a string, like so, pattern 1 equals, here we have a pattern, and then pattern 1 equals pattern 1 times 3. Now let's print pattern 1 out, pattern 1, and as we can see, this string is repeated three times. Now let's define another pattern and this time we'll use the augmented assignment operator. So pattern 2 equals something like this and now pattern 2 and instead of writing equals pattern 2 times 3 we can just use the augmented assignment operator like so, star equals 3. And here is our pattern 2. So it works the same. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.